uh, welcome to all this is the second video of uh, raj kalve buffer zone okay in the last video i had discussed uh, on like uh, what is the primary secondary and tertiary drain and uh, and uh, explained with the example case so here uh it will be more like a educational video for the home buyers of the bangalore those who want to purchase a um, plot or a land near to this uh, uh, storm drain or you can call it as uh, raj kalve okay so here uh, in the bangalore you have came across and you have seen this kind of uh, a drainage system okay so there where there is a channel will be there the square channel where it, it conveys the um, uh, the rain water okay and this is made of a concrete structure okay so same i have brought a cross section okay with the illustrative sketch so here uh, i have a storm or drain section okay so here you can see for a compare uh, to com compare it so i have it's a real image of the storm water drain so so here this is the channel limit so channel limit you can see from this wall to the this wall so this is nothing but the channel limit which i have same i have shown in this image okay so after this channel limit ends there is some uh, a zone kept for the no restriction uh, so for the restriction of the construction so okay so this is the zones the, what i was telling this is the zone after the channel limit so this is the zone where uh, the government has restricted any construction of uh, any uh, concrete structures or any settlement or human any uh, building developments are restricted on either side so this is on the right side and this is on the left side okay so this is the zone where the government has uh, government is nothing but the, uh, in this case it's a bbmp has restricted the construction in this la buffer zone limit okay so this is the center line of this storm drain okay this uh, violet color which you can see this is the central line of the storm drain okay from this uh, storm drain there is some buffer zones are fixed on the right side and the left side okay so this buffer zone is overall buffer zone, considering left and right okay so this is the zones where uh, you can't uh, build any construction or uh, any uh, possible development should be avoided by as uh, governed as recommended by as uh, mandated by the uh, government okay so this is the buffer zone this we call this is the limit of the buffer zone and beyond this buffer zone you can construct here i've seen these two building structures are away from this buffer zone and uh, it is uh, legal to construct so if this building exists in this buffer zone in that case this building structure will have litigation however in this case the buffer zones so in this building structures are located away from this buffer zone limit okay so buffer zone limit so we have the government has fixed it so as a home buyers we should check before buying our property so whether our the land which we are going to purchase lies in the buffer zone or not okay so this is my buffer zone and this proper those two building structures are lying away from are located away from the buffer zone so there in this case there won't be having any litigation issue with the government or clashes with the government uh, um okay so regarding the buffer zone so this is my nala uh, central line of this stream okay this details you get from this uh, Uh, from either from the shan cap or from the bbmp details uh, from the bbmp maps okay so this is my center line of the nala okay so this violet color line which i have drawn this is center line of the nala okay so what i have to fix as a home buyers i need to fix the buffer zone on left side and left side suppose your property is lies on the right side so this is the center line of this uh, uh, channel or this uh, uh, rajkalve center line from here i need to fix the buffer zone for before that we need to uh, uh, like uh, we need to uh, we know the what is the type of the storm water drain either it's a primary drain secondary drain and the tertiary drain so I, in the last video i had told about the buffer zones for the primary secondary and tertiary what is that for the primary the buffer zone is uh, 750 meters 
from either side so here if it is 50 meter the total length of the buffer zone would be uh, 100 meters so here if i call it as 50 meters from here and 50 meters from here okay so if, suppose I, it belongs to uh, right side so, so i so I'm to check from the right side so here from the center line of this uh, uh, channel limit i need to mark a line that is around 50 meters okay 50 meters for primary drain 35 meter for the for the secondary drain and 25 meter for the tertiary drain okay so if this uh, uh, this uh, uh, if your building lies uh, away from this building structure and you can safely buy your land or a property okay if it, your building structure lies within this uh, buffer zone then you have to th rethink it because you may be having some litigation issues with the uh, with the government okay and I have brought you uh, you know, the BBMP maps um, for the primary secondary tertiary drain okay which I can uh, show you lately in this part of the video okay so this is all about these uh, buffer zone Rajkale buffer zone okay and I'll uh, I'll bring that uh, uh, primary secondary and the tertiary storm water drain for the Bangalore limit okay so uh, let's move to that uh, part so I have um, Google Earth imagery and these uh, uh, and this primary secondary and tertiary drain alignment map okay so where how it goes all across the city so based on that I'll need to analyze whether my property is in uh, uh, is in uh, uh, buffer zone or not okay Uh, so here is the storm water network map for Bangalore city so it is nothing but the uh, Raj Kalwe network okay so here is the map so here you can see three colors of these uh, storm water network so first one is the uh, Sion color which uh, indicates the primary storm water drain which I was telling that for this uh, uh, you know, color storm water network the buffer zone is uh, 50 meter on either side so second one is the secondary storm water drain so which can be seen in the green color line so these are green all this green color line indicates the secondary storm water drains so which is having the buffer zone of uh, uh, 35 meter and the third one is this one okay, you can see this smaller magenta color line so which indicates the tertiary storm water drain so which is having the buffer zone of uh, 25 meter okay so here uh, i want to uh, consider an example so somewhere here so somewhere here you can see there is a clear encroachment in this location so this this cyan color indicates the alignment of the primary storm water drainage but it is uh, you can see due to encroachment they have shifted this uh, Mm, this the, the the people of this buildings has shifted this storm water drainage to somewhere here can you see here so this is the shifted alignment so this is a clear case of encroachment okay so whenever we uh, want to fix uh, whenever we want to uh, know the what is the buffer zone limit so we always consider not with the with respect to google earth image we should consider with respect to this uh, central line alignment of this uh, uh, storm water drain network so here my alignment uh, should be not this one which is you can see on here the water zone it should be considered with respect to the central line alignment of this storm water network so this is since it's a primary storm water drain so i want to fix the buffer zone okay so here is the i'll fix the buffer zone so first one i'll just select from this alignment central line so from the center line I will fix around 50 meters so this is my 50 meters so this is the 50 meter shift ok and same on other side 50 meter shift 50 meter it's coming somewhere here so this should be the actual buffer zone but here it is this location is totally encroached by the builders ok so this is how you can check this uh, storm water uh, network uh, um, 
uh, check whether any encroachments are happening in your uh, property or the land which is which you are planning to purchase so if you have any question just let me know if you have if you need any consulting service on or the real estate service on this raj kalwe please let me know and i will put my uh, phone number in the description of this video thank you for watching bye